You ever wonder what kind of mischief I can get into with an afternoon to myself and a handful of ones? Well, today, you're going to find out. The first thing you're going to notice about today's video is that we are not in the studio today. We are, in fact, hanging out at our local dollar store. Now, for you first-timers here, my name is Daniel Troutman with the Smashcake.com, your online resource for free smash cake photography training. And in today's video, we are going to cruise the aisles of our dollar store in search of low-cost, good-looking props that we buy here on a very regular basis. So let's go ahead and just grab a shopping cart and get right into it. Now, the first thing you're gonna notice when you walk up to your local Dollar Tree is there's usually some sort of display with fake flowers and fake plants. Now, not all of these fake flowers are gonna look great. You have to be kind of discerning when you paw through them, but occasionally you will find a bunch that are really good looking and they're only a buck. Now, if you go to other places like Hobby Lobby and you try to buy some fake flowers, silk flowers, or, or fake plants, you pretty much have to bring your financial advisor with you and maybe put out a second mortgage on your home. Those things are expensive over there, so whenever you can source them from the dollar store, I highly recommend that you do. Now, one of the next things we like to source at the dollar store are balloons, and they do stock a lot of regular colored balloons, and this is a great place to get your basic balloons. If you want anything a little more fancy, you are gonna have to kind of source them on amazon.com or the smashcake.com, but for the most part, all we really need sometimes are just white or basic balloons, and the dollar store is a great resource for that. Now, every now and again, they do have some specialty balloons here at the dollar store, but not on a regular basis. So when you do find, say, polka dots or paint smears or what really funky colored balloons, you're gonna wanna buy them up and buy a bunch of them. All right, tissue paper pom-poms. That's the next thing that we always come to the Dollar Tree for. And I gotta tell you, these things are smash cake photography staples. We use them on just about every set and they make us a ton of money when you consider how little we actually spend on these buggers. So whenever you're at the Dollar Tree and you find tissue paper pom-poms, I highly suggest not just buying one or two, but buy these suckers by the case. In one of our videos about cheap and easy props, there was a thing called the fake present, and every fake present needs a bow. So I'm gonna let you guys in on this secret. I can't tie a bow to save my life. So I head down to the Dollar Tree, and they have a huge selection of pre-tied beautiful bows that only cost you one dollar. While we're on the subject of the fake present, this is also where we get our wrapping paper for those fake presents. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and watch the video, learn how to make the fake present, grab some ribbon, grab some wrapping paper, all of it here at the Dollar Tree, and then go make yourself some money with some very cheap props. Now, while we're busy shopping at the house that $1 built, we like to cruise for cake toppers. We like to cruise for very basic gold and silver cake toppers, and sometimes they actually have them. And when you take those basic cake toppers into your studio and you add other embellishments to them, they look like a million bucks. And the best part is, is that no one has to know where you got it. Next up is confetti. Now I use this all the time, especially when I'm shooting a baby on a white seamless background. What I like to do is go ahead and sprinkle this all over the floor, and that's because when I go to take a shot of a baby from overhead, and the baby's staring up at me with those big, beautiful eyes, that's a shot that moms love. They melt for that shot, and I sell it every time, unless I forget to put confetti down over the seamless. And that's because when you take that picture, there's nothing down there but the baby, and it looks like a stock image. Now, nobody wants to see their child in what looks like a stock image. It's just not very visually appealing. So to combat that, you just go to the dollar store and you pick up some confetti and sprinkle it all over the floor of your white seamless sets. The next item that we get at the dollar store are sunglasses. And we love sunglasses because when we give the child a pair of sunglasses, we get a ton of images out of it, okay? They put them on, that's the image number one. They rip them off and throw them across the room. That's two images. And then we just do it again and again and again. And we can get five or six really adorable images out of one pair of dollar store sunglasses. All right, well, earlier we talked about bows. Let's go ahead and talk about ribbon. Now we use ribbon at our studio all the time because let's face it, you gotta tie something to the bottom of your balloons and that something better match your set. 
So we go ahead and use colored ribbon and we source our colored ribbon right here at the Dollar Tree because you can get a multi-pack bunch of different colors for just $1. Well, a while back we posted a behind the scenes set build video where we built a smash cake set almost entirely out of gift bags and tissue paper that we sourced right here at the Dollar Tree. Now that set went on to make us a ton of money and as a business person whenever I can take a few dollars here at the Dollar Tree and turn it into a couple thousand dollars on the other end, well that always makes me happy and it keeps me in business so that I can continue to do what I love which is take smash cake photos. The next item we like to source while we're here, of course, is paper lanterns. Now, sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. Today, all they had were the ones that were had the little LEDs in them, and I don't recommend you buy those, but I did want to show you what a paper lantern looked like. So I'm showing you one, but it's not the one I recommend buying. So just keep checking back at the dollar store. They do have them, and they have them in a ton of colors. And yes, they're cheap, and yes, they look fantastic. Well, that's pretty much all of our set building staples that we buy while we're here at the Dollar Tree. But since we're here anyway, we do have a couple of other items that we pick up on a regular basis that help our photo sessions go so much smoother. Now, if you bounce on over to the arts and crafts section, you're gonna find these little monkeys called craft clamps. Now, they don't have enough strength to hold up a 10 by 10 backdrop, but they do hold balloons in place, they do hold flowers in place, or even small props. So they're highly useful, and you get two for a dollar. Next up, we're gonna talk about hand sanitizer. Now, hand sanitizer is littered throughout my studio. I've got some in my camera bag, I've got some in my glove box, Everywhere I go, I've got hand sanitizer because it always seems like somebody's handing me a baby and God knows what's on my hands. So definitely when you're in a smash cake session, get some hand sanitizer, make a show, make sure mom sees you putting it on there so that she knows you're all about the health, safety, and welfare of her little one. Let's face it, diaper wipes are absolutely essential when you're in the business of smashing cakes because let's be honest, duty happens and so does frosting. And when either of those go down, I always reach for a pack of diaper wipes to save the day. Next, I buy a ton of extra sippy cups. I've got about five or six of these in my studio waiting because it really never fails. Somebody's gonna get to your studio and they're not gonna have a sippy cup and they're really truly gonna need one. And it's just, you become the hero when you can walk in the other room and produce a brand new sippy cup. Next up on the list is the dog squeaky toy. And yeah, it's weird, but the kids love them, right? When you cannot get the child's attention, when you have sung Twinkle Twinkle Little Star until you are blue in the face and no animal noise of the planet is going to get that child's attention, simply reach for a dog squeaky toy, give it a couple of squeaks, and you are back in business with that child's undivided full attention. I guarantee it. So pick up some squeaky toys the next time you're at the Dollar Tree. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on my field trip to the Dollar Tree. And I hope today's suggestions not only save you money, but help you create beautiful sets. Now, if you're looking for more information on creating beautiful sets or the world of smash cake photography in general, definitely check out the videos that live over there. All you got to do is click on them. So again, thank you guys for watching. My name is Daniel Troutman with the smashcake.com, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye-bye.